and welcome back to Gavilar Cooks and tonight we are going to do teriyaki chicken. Now I've got the ingredients here, if I just put my wine to one side because we're not actually going to use that for the food obviously. Um, for this recipe you'll see we've actually got a marinade already in there for the chicken. Now the marinade is going to be made up of uh, two tablespoons of sake which is Japanese rice wine vinegar. You're going to have two tablespoons of that, you're going to need four tablespoons of a substance called mirin, which is, a, is similar to a, a Japanese rice wine. Uh, you're going to need four tablespoons of soy sauce, I prefer the dark soy sauce for taste. You're going to need two tablespoons of brown sugar. You're going to need a thumb of ginger, you can use ground ginger, uh, but I'd like to use fresh ginger and then finely chop that. Uh, and you're going to need one tablespoon or a splash of toasted sesame oil. Now put all that in with, we've put in there three chicken breasts and I've sliced that up and I've put that in there now and that's going to stay in there to, to settle in for about half an hour. Um, the only other ingredients you're going to need for this dish is going to be a bit of ground nut oil or peanut oil if you've got it. Uh, we've got some sesame seeds which are just going to scatter on the top at the end of serving which we'll show later. We have some shiitake mushrooms. We have some spring onions we're going to put in as well, finely chopped spring onions. There you go, spring onions. And we've got some pak choy. Now it actually says bok choy and I don't know the difference between pak choy and bok choy so hopefully that's the right thing. The only other thing we're going to use is we're going to use a Thai rice again, a sticky rice as we did with the Thai green curry. And we're going to plate it up similar to that. Um, so anyway, we're just going to leave that to marinade um, and I'll see you back in a couple of seconds. Double our cooks. Um, well, we're just enjoying another glass of wine. Um, yes, right, what have we got? Right, okay. What we've got, we've got the chicken that's been marinating there in that um, concoction we had there with the, the um, sake and the mirror, that's fine, that's it. We've got the bok choy, we've got that cut in half or pak choy, whichever one you want to call it, that's cut in half. What we're going to do with that, you can steam it, but what we're going to do is fry that because we had a look at the steamer and it didn't look too good, so we thought we'd fry it. So what I'm going to do now... Oh, we've got the sake mushrooms chopped, we've got the spring onions chopped. What I'm going to do now is add a bit of the ground nut oil, which preferably would be peanut oil, but didn't have any. Couldn't find it in Tesco, so put that in the pan. I'm going to put that on full heat for a minute, get that going. Now all I'm going to do is use a slotted spoon, and then I'm going to as soon as that oil is up to heat, and then use a slotted spoon to transfer that into the dish, and then we're going to cook that up and get that going uh, until it's brown, uh, and then we'll uh, go from there. Okay, so the oil's nice and hot now, so we're just like I say, going to pass this over with a slotted spoon, put that in. Oh wow! Oops, bit off. Oh, turn that down, set it on. Bugger, that's a bit off. <laughs> so, uh, give me advice, don't put the, don't put the oil on too long. I think another glass of wine in between that is just uh, muck that up a bit. Got oil on my glasses. And just keep transferring that into the dish. And so what you're trying to do is save your marinade. We're going to use that a little bit later on. There you go. Stir that in. Turn the heat down a bit. And if uh, Oliver can just zoom in a bit, see that? 
just going to brain up that's a lovely cool lovely smell there because you've got the brown sugar and the the soy sauce and the sake turn up a little bit now got a little bit excited there okay and once that's brown we then add the spring onions and the mushrooms so leave that to cook And welcome back again to Gavlar Cooks. Um, right, what have we got now? We've got the spring onion in. Um, bugger, I can't see a bloody thing. Spring onion. And right, the chicken's nearly done. We're going to now put in the shitty mushrooms. The shiitake mush. Oh, bugger. Shiitake mushroom. Hang on. Shiitake shit, shit, mushroom, stirring the shiitake mushroom in, <laughs> and now what you're going to do is fold that, but in like that. Uh, yeah, put that in. Oh, mind the wine. Cheers, up yours. And uh, turn that down to a simmer, and that's it. We we'll leave that now for about. Ooh. Well, it's cooked. And then when it's cooked, we'll be back. See you in a minute. Then from the Welcome back to Gavlar Cooks. Uh, a little bit more sober now. Uh, chicken's now cooked. Uh, that's up to temperature. And all I'm going to do now is put that lovely marinade back in. Like that. Now, there you go. Stir that in. You can smell that soy sauce. Now all you want to do now is that's going to thicken up quite rapidly. So I'm going to turn that down. And now really it's a case you can leave that as long as you like. Um, what you can do is really boil that off and make it really sticky. People quite like it as a dry sort of sauce. We like a bit of, a bit of sauce with ours. So we'll probably put the lid back on and we're going to simmer that for another 15 minutes. Uh, a lot of people just serve that up, but we're going to give it another 15 minutes and then we're going to serve up. So we'll see you in a minute when I'm frying off the pak choy and then serving. Well cooked and cheers again. As you can see, if Oliver can zoom in, Oliver, come back down those blooming stairs, come on, you do this or not. Come on, zoom in under there, been under the cover so it doesn't dry out. It's the chicken. Now in here, you can zoom in on this the pack choy. Now when I'm done, a healthier uh, oil on there, I think I can't remember what that is now. Uh, it is a red palm and rapeseed oil. That's where your colour's coming from. You see there that we've been frying off the pack choy, cut them in half, put them down, and we're just, while the rice is on, just cooking those. I'm going to overcook them, but it shouldn't take long frying. And then all we're going to do is we're going to get the rice on the plate, we're going to put the pak choy on, we're going to put a serving of the teriyaki chicken, a little bit of sesame seed just sprinkled on the top for the show really. Okay, so in a minute we'll plate up and we'll let you have a, a look at what that's going to look like. The airing's all cooked now, waiting for the rice in the microwave, and we're ready to go. So see you in a minute. Tell that away. Yeah. Back on. No. Uh, hang on, wait, wait, wait. Mm. Yeah, welcome back. Here we go. We've got the pak choy. Put one of those on. We're now going to go for... Where's my spoon gone? The wife's got it. Hang on. Rice on, can you zoom in on that plate, Jack? There we go, we're just going to put that on there. Bit of sauce on there. Look at that. And that. Hang on, one minute. There we go. Make sure you clean that plate. 
I'm going to send that up to the pass. There you are, if you zoom in that, Jack. There you go. Teriyaki chicken. Thank you very much. God